should do. What? We should make that raffle dazzle on that video. But we have nobody do it for us, so. Mm. Uh, he's jumping on her belly. Oh, we're getting her belly. They say a man can only be critical of money if he has it. It's not a question about who I am. It's a question of what do I want? What's a pretty monologue and what is actually what I want? What is something that I can work towards? Why do I feel the need to work towards something? Where does that come from? That is such a heavy burden to place on somebody. If I have to work towards something, is that what I'm made up of? What I made? What I got to? I see a future of myself with an amount of money that will make me not want it. And maybe that's what I'm working towards. Isn't that kind of pathetic though? All this time spent chasing something to get in and realize that maybe it's not even what you need it. And it takes building that around yourself to understand that. I say I don't chase things, and I say these mantras that things will come to me and present themselves to me. But I'd be lying to myself if I truthfully said that I don't chase things. Because I do chase things. I want to live a beautiful life. I come from these slums of a very, very poor region. I was brought here for a reason, and I'm not going to turn away from that. Because I have things to do. I have places I want to go. And I have stuff that I want to experience. And I am not going to feel bad for that. I give myself a hard time going after these things, and yeah, they may be superficial, but honest to God, a lot in this world is pretty shitty. So if I found an outlet that curates a sense of bliss, then that's just going to have to be the way it is. Feel the weight and the rush of my intending death and the death of those around me and the loss of the things around me more forcefully than I have ever felt anything in my entire life. And that is such a rough thing to experience. It is a dark and formidable thought that clouds over my being, and I don't know if that is because I am in a quarter-life crisis. And this is something that people my age just genuinely have to go through, or this is just something in my life that I have to experience right now. If I died right now, what would there be of me? Memories of the people I've talked to throughout time. I'm very grateful I've made films over time. I think that is largely the same. Something tangible. Something that speaks to people. I say that I want to spend more time with my family, but in most cases I avoid them. I'm chasing some elusive point in my life and Fearing communications with the people closest to me that actually are the most valuable things in my life. That are right in front of me. I have 
have fears that I'm autistic, but I doubt that the case. I think I just have such a large amount of anxiety that it keeps me socially distanced from people. I say I'm overanalyzing, but how can that be a bad thing if I'm getting to the root of something? Getting to the root of something is having knowledge. Knowledge that spans across the singular subject. I'm not autistic. I need human connection. I need someone to hear me. I need to be around people that are going through life as well. Time is a limited resource. So I am not going to sit around and let life just flash before my eyes. Because I know time has the propensity to do that. And so I need to lock in these experiences while I can. I have an idealized version of myself. And it may be romanticized, but I think it is me in its fullest self. I think we all have idealized versions of ourselves. But very few in life pursue the extremities of those thoughts. And that might turn me into an outcast because I stand on what I believe. But that's just my reality and I'm no longer going to run from that. And I will not go back. I have so much safety in the vision of my future. Curveballs will come and life will have its challenges, but I know who I am. Do you know who you are? Do you know how short time we have on this earth?